Hi everyone, I want to do another video talking about football actually. Um, so we're going to Premier League title race. I've called this game the game of the season, uh, Man City Arsenal. Um, it kicks off actually in about just over an hour, but the programme starts in about 20 minutes. I want to do a video before because, um, in case Arsenal win, <laughs> I, I want Man City to win the league. Um, but like I said, it's incredible. Like I said, Arsenal drops in three games in a row. Like I said, for three games in a row, Arsenal dropped points. 2-0 against Liverpool, they came back 2-2. Liverpool did. 2 up, up went against West Ham, West Ham came back 2-2. And then 2-0 down and 3-1 down against Southampton. So Arsenal dropped six points and they've got dropped six points in three games. Um, and like I said, it's going to be very interesting. People will call this the Premier League um, game of the season. And um, yeah, it is, uh, it's, it's definitely up there. Who do I think is going to win? I hope Man City winning because I'm... Another reason why I want City to win is um, I don't really want them to win the treble. I think Man will beat them in the FA Cup final. But um, one of the things is, uh, yeah, I want I want Man to beat them in the FA Cup final. But um, I think City will win. I think um, I want City to get the same number of league titles as Everton because Everton have got nine at the moment, and Man City got eight. And I want City to get nine league titles. Plus, yeah, I really want that. Plus, I kind of want them to win three in a row. I do like City. I think so they play incredible football, um, and Arsenal haven't got nearly as good a squad depth as City do. So I really do want City to win the league, um, but I don't want City to win the treble. I want Man United to win the FA Cup. I do want City to win the. I want City to win the cup double of league and Champions League, and then I want Man United to win the FA Cup. That'd be like the ideal scenario for me. But it's, I'm, I, I'm quite nervous. Arsenal could pull up a shot, but they haven't won like 11, 11 wins in a row from Man City in the Premier League against Arsenal. They haven't won beaten. Man City haven't beaten Arsenal, or Arsenal haven't beaten Man City at, at the Etihad in the league since January 2015. But Man City had that robot Erling Haaland up front, 48 goals this season. He could put Dixie Dean's record of 63 for Everton and Arsenal um, in whatever season that was. He got 63, Erling Haaland's and 48. Some 32 Premier League goals, and he needs two more to equal the all time top flight record. He's already equaled the all time 38 game record. Um, so it's going to be very interesting. I'm nervous. I want City to win. But if Arsenal win, fair play. I want to do a video beforehand. And just to get into the um, video beforehand, I want to do a prediction. Um, I'm going to say um, Man City will win 2-0. So 2-0 is my prediction. It's, it's, you might think it's interesting that Arsenal won't score, but I don't think they're going to score. City have become incredibly defensively. Arsenal do score, they do score. I think it's going to be 2-0. I'm going to go 2-0 Man City. So if Man City win, they'll be two points behind Arsenal with two games in hand. So they could mathematically go four points clear. Well, they, they, they don't play the last game in hand away to Brighton until the second to last game, of the penultimate game of the season is that second game in hand. Whereas the first game in hand will be at home to West Ham on the 3rd of May or something. But their penultimate game in hand, the, no, so their second game in hand won't be to the penultimate, will, will be their penultimate game of the season. That's going to be interesting. But Man City only need one of those games in hand to overtake Arsenal. If it's a draw, the gap is still five points, but it's still in City's hands because if they win their two games in hand, they'll go a point above Arsenal. So a win for Arsenal really is a must for me because it's the only way that it will still remain in Arsenal's hands. In fact, if Arsenal win, it won't be in City's hands anymore because Arsenal will go eight points clear at the top. Man City will have two games in hand. That's six points. People say Arsenal might drop points to Newcastle away. They could well do, especially after Newcastle just thrashed um, Tottenham 6-1 they scored 5 goals in 21 minutes which is only second to Man City scoring 5 goals in 18 minutes against Watford in 2019 in the season that Liverpool won it um, so it's only second to that so top and way to Newcastle is a big gap and I think Arsenal could draw I don't think they're going to win they're going to draw maybe but like I said even if Arsenal win they'll be 8 points clear City will win their 2 games in hand they'll be 2 points behind but like I said they don't play their second game in hand until the 25th of May or something. So that second game in hand is going to be Man City's penultimate game of the league. It's going to be the second to last game of the league. So that's going to be very interesting. They've got two away games to finish the league. That's going to be very, very interesting. And even then, if they win their two games in hand, they're still going to be two points behind Arsenal. So Arsenal, unless they win every game of the season. So it's going to be very interesting. I think it's going to be 2-0. I don't think one, I think it's going to be 2-0 to Man City. Because the, the last fixture at, at the Etihad against Arsenal was the FA Cup 1-0 win. I think it was the fourth round of the FA Cup. When Nathan Ake scored a header or something. And that was a 1 0 to City. So I think Man City will win. But um, it's going to be interesting if Arsenal win fair play. Like I said, if Arsenal win fair play, I, I want City to win the league, so I'm a little bit biased. But I, I'm, I support Manchester United. 
But I want City to win the league because with Man United, <clears throat> my team, Manchester United, there's levels to the rivals. That's the thing for me. There's um, there's different levels to, to rivals, I think. So with um, so if it, for example, um, Man City, Man City's rivals. Um, so Man United's rivals. I'm, I'm getting the brothers confused again. Um, with Man, Man United's rivals. Um, and number one is Liverpool, without a doubt. Liverpool are the biggest rivals. Second, I'd put, actually put Arsenal. Third, I'd put Man City. Fourth, I'd put Leeds. Um, I'd do that. I'd love, Liverpool would be first, then Arsenal, then, then Man City would be third, and Leeds would be fourth. But, um, like I said, I don't want Man, United, Man City to win the treble. I'm getting the brothers confused again. I don't want Man City to win the treble. But I do want them to win the league. I don't, I don't really like Arsenal fans. Even though I'd say that I would support Arsenal as, my, as the one club in London I would support. And it's true. Um, I've been to Finsley Park a few times. I would support Arsenal. Any club in London, if I had to support, it would be Arsenal. They're the red side of London. I support the red side of Manchester. It would be Arsenal in all fairness. It certainly wouldn't be upper class, conservative, posh, Chelsea, right? The nearest club to Buckingham Palace, fuck that. I mean, no offence to the Queen or anything, but it just wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be Chelsea. It wouldn't be. They've got a small stadium. I like Arsenal's Emirates Stadium anyway. So it would be Arsenal if I had to support a team from London. But I do want City to win the league. Because I just do, I don't like Arsenal fans really. So I want Man City to win three in a row. I want them to win the league. I actually want them to win the Champions League as well. But I don't want them to win the treble. I want Man United to win the cup double under Eric Tenag. So that's what I want. And yeah, we'll see how it works. The game kicks off in just over an hour. I'm nervous. I'll be watching the whole game. I'm actually in today as well. I usually go out, but I'm, I want to watch the game. <laughs> it's going to be a massive, massive game. I'm, oh, what I'd give for Man City to win. I really want to see that. Oh, George, I'd love to see them win the treble. But yeah, I have to see what happens. Come on, C. Come on, the C's ends. Beat those gutters. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's going to be so good. So, yeah, you've heard that for now.